I am back with another Ikea haul. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love Ikea. And today I'm hitting it with a bonus video because it's a Monday. I usually post on a Sunday. I really just wanted to get this haul up and out for you guys and I wanted it to be separate to the Ikea vlog. So if you want to see any new bits in Ikea, also a sneak peek of some of the Christmas stuff because he started to get some of the Christmas bits out, please watch that vlog first. Today I'm just gonna hit you up with a haul. And these are things I could not resist buying in Ikea because I actually went with the intention to not buy that much. I only went for lampshades. I did get the lampshades. However, I also got a big bag full of things. So I'm gonna show you what I got today. And hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy for anyone that's new here and I post home and lifestyle videos every Sunday. I'm gonna Let's start off with the lampshades because that is what I went to Ikea for. I bought two white lampshades. They're actually massive. This is them um, in comparison to my head size. I got these for my kitchen slash living room because it's like a big open plant area. And ever since I've moved in, I've been meaning to get some lampshades because all my lights are like lights fitted into the ceiling so they don't need lampshade. However, I've got two lights that hang down and they were desperate for a lampshade. So it's been on my to-do list for ages to get a lampshade and I finally got one today. I am a bit worried. I got two, but they're both the same, so I'm not gonna show the other one. I am a little bit worried that they're gonna be a bit too big, but the smaller size they'd sold out in. If you watched the vlog yesterday, you will see I was in the lampshade section for so long as I couldn't decide. Anyway, I ended up going for the pleated bigger style. These are the lampshades. Next, I got this bath mat. Now, I already have this bath mat and I got two more today because it's just so good. They're £2.25, so a bargain anyway. And they're so good because they're so thin. So I have a bath mat that's expensive and it's like really like thick and like lovely to step on. However, it gets damp and smells so quickly because obviously I'm stepping out of the shower onto it, it's getting wet and then because it's so thick, I feel like it doesn't dry as well as these ones. So I have just found myself always using this one. I can step on this with a wet foot and it doesn't take ages to dry. So it never has that damp smell. And also because they're th so thin, they're just so easy to then put in the washing machine. And I feel they're just like quite a nice, simple style. So I now have these in all three of my bathrooms and I'm so happy because it's not gonna smell because honestly, the other one I had was stressing me out so much. I actually am thinking, do I just bin it now? Because it was stressing me out so much because it was just constantly smelling of damp and I'd walk in my bathroom and it would smell of damp and then I'd wash it in the washing machine. And then because it takes so long to dry, it would still smell. So sometimes I'd wash it twice just to try and get rid of the damp smell. And I've just had a nightmare with it basically, but those Ikea ones have saved me. And to think they're just £2.25, I feel like every household needs them. They're so good. So I'm gonna link all the direct links to everything in my description box. Then next I got this vase. Now I have so many Ikea vases. However, I really like this one and my friend has one and it just looks nice and I'm just like, I really like this. I think it was £3.50, so it wasn't that expensive. It doesn't have a lid. So I'm thinking to have it as like a vase and put flowers in. I was trying to find some nice flowers in Ikea, but I couldn't find ones that I loved. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for some flowers to put in here. But I should have this in my kitchen with some nice flowers in. It's just gonna look really nice. So yeah, I got this and I love it. A very simple purchase. I just bought this mirror because I realized when I was in the bath the other day and I was putting a face mask on, I don't actually have a handheld mirror because all my bathrooms have a built-in mirror. So I've never felt the need to put a mirror in my bathroom. However, like I said, when I was in the bath the other day, I felt like I needed a mirror. I'm pretty sure they've done this style for years and I feel like my mum's even had this at one point in her house. Um, it's just a very basic standard mirror, but just one of those things that just comes in useful. So I've got this mirror. Then another little useful purchase. I just got some oven mitts. I've taken the packaging off a lot of things. For example, this mirror, it didn't come like this. I have just quickly built it, but it's because I was doing an unboxing reel. So you'll actually see that on shorts. I will upload that on shorts. I will try and link it in this video um, if anyone wants to see how they came. But yeah, just got some like oven mitts. I wanna call them oven mitts, but I actually don't think they are because it's not like a mitt, but you know what I mean, just to get like hot pans out. And they came in a pack of two. This was quite a spontaneous purchase to be fair, because I usually just use a tea towel. But then I saw these and I was like, actually, 
I should probably get something a bit more professional to take my hot pans out. So I've got these. Then I got some bowls. So if you watched my last Ikea haul or you've been watching for a while, you will know that all my plates and bowls and cutlery is from Ikea. However, I never bought the normal bowl. I have the pasta bowls because I just love the Ikea pasta bowls. However, every now and then I just feel like I need a proper bowl that's like a bit deeper um, for like cereal and stuff. So when I was in Ikea, because obviously this is the collection I already have, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pick up some bowls because I feel like they'll come in useful. And I have the smaller bowls, but sometimes they're a bit too small. Do you know when I also notice it when I'm doing like avocado and like I just want to like smash it up? It just doesn't really work on the pasta bowl. So yeah, I actually don't know where I'm going to store them because I feel like I've got all my like sage green plates out on display and I'm like I don't know where these are gonna fit into that however we will see and I'm sure I'll find a home for them then I got more of these little clips I use these clips religiously and they're one of those things that just always go missing so I bought another pack they're only cheap I can't remember how much they are but they're not expensive and they're just so useful say if you've opened something and you just want to seal it back up again you literally just pop like say it's a packet of crisps you'll just pop the top end of the crisps in and then seal it so they're so useful for like storing food. This is a little diagram of what it looks like. And I use them for honestly everything because I feel like I just always seem to have leftover food. So I'm always like sealing it up. If you don't have them, I would highly recommend them because it just saves as well. Like sometimes you could obviously get like a sealable sandwich bag, but that's just a bit more faff. Like you could literally just use the packets already in and just close it with this. Another purchase that I already have but bought some more because I use all the time are these tongs. I'm sure they're called tongs. Um, they're like smaller versions. So I just feel like they're a lot easier and I find myself going towards these to pick up things a lot more than I do the big tongs because they're just little. So they just fit in my cutlery drawer so easily. And they come in a pack of two. I, th I did actually see when I was in Ikea, they actually had a pack of three. So I think they come in packs of twos packs of th and packs of threes. Um, but yeah, they're so good. I think I love more so the fact that they're just so small and so easy to just like get out and get whatever you need to get out. Then a little bit of a random purchase. I got this spray bottle. Now I saw this as I was walking around quite a lot. And at first I didn't pick it up because I thought I don't need it because it was with all the like plants and I don't have any plants so I just assumed I didn't need it. Then I suddenly realised I actually always need a spray bottle for when I've got like a hair mask in. You know when you need your hair damp and I'm always then like at the tap line getting bits of water and like putting it on my hair and then I thought you know what a spray bottle is going to be so useful for that. So I got a spray bottle. So yeah, a little bit of a random purchase but I think I'm going to use it quite a lot. Also as well if I then suddenly decide I want a plant. I've got a spray bottle to look after it with. Then this is not very exciting. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to need this. But it was with the lampshades. And it's just like, what's it called? It's just one of those extra clips to like fit your lamp on. I don't know if I'm going to need this. I don't know if I was just fully gotten by Ikea because it was next to the lamp. So I just picked one up thinking I needed one. Because I didn't want to get home and not have one. But yeah, if I don't need this, then that is a very good marketing ploy from Ikea. Because I just picked it up anyway. And I got two of them because I got two lampshades. So hopefully I need it and I didn't just waste my money. Um, but yeah, got this. And now we are on to my last purchase. So this was something that, do you know when you're walking around and you see something you like, but you don't know where it's come from? Like it was just a one-off on the side. And I was like, oh, I really want one of those. But then I couldn't find it. But anyway, eventually I found it. And they're little jars. Look how cute they look. So you get three in a packet. Oops, I've just lost one. You get three in a packet. And the reason I wanted this was because, I don't know how often I'm gonna use it, but for my lunch, I had sweet corn and I didn't use the whole tin of sweet corn because I was adding it to tuna. So I just wanted a little bit of sweet corn. And then I didn't really know what to do with the rest of the tin because I don't like adding tins into the fridge. I actually don't know why I never put tins in the fridge. There is a reason my sister told me once, but I've just never put tins in the fridge. Like I don't, I don't think it's good to put a tin in the fridge. Anyway, don't ask me why, I'm not sure. I just never put tins in the fridge. Then obviously for my lunch, I had half a tin of sweet corn left that I didn't know what to do with. And then I saw these and I thought, if I'm ever in that scenario again, I need some of these to put my to, to put my sweet corn in. And then I can just keep it in the fridge like this. Um, hopefully I find more uses for it than just 
sweet corn. I don't have sweet corn that often, but I feel like in those scenarios, this will be useful. I also do feel like as well, I will use it for like if I'm hosting things, like I feel like this size little jar and like even like this size little bowl are so good for when you're hosting. Imagine you do a little breakfast and you put jam in here. I feel like there's so many things that you could put in here, like you could put like Nutella, you could put loads of things. So I do feel like I'm gonna use it a lot. The main reason I wanted it before was because I thought if I'm ever opening a tin of sweet corn again for tuna, I'm gonna need something to put that sweet corn back in. And I just think they look really cute. So that is everything I got from Ikea today. I'm actually quite proud of myself because I didn't go overboard. I just got the things I know I'll use and I couldn't not pick up. And if you want to see any other hauls, please let me know. Like I said before, all the links to these products are in the description. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again on Sunday.